Yep, that's right. Technology is still not the goal. I'm not interested in how we can best integrate technology. I'm interested in how we can solve problems. No, scratch that. More importantly, I care about what's working well in our classrooms and how we can amplify that. Amplifying what works is more important for me than solving problems because if we look for problems to solve, our world will be full of problems. But if we look for what works, if we look for our assets, then our world will be filled with what works. Isn't that an amazing possibility? Have you ever been in the market for something new, a new car, a paint color, or diet? And all of a sudden, you see these new things everywhere. It's not that there's a sudden influx of new cars, colors, and food on the streets. It's just that your brain is noticing them because they have taken a place of prominence. I truly believe that we find what we look for. And so I look at the question of technology and learning through that lens and consciously ask what works. How can we create more of it? How are we getting better? There are different models we can use to measure technology use or integration. One that many know of is called SAMR, or SAMR. With SAMR, we can look at how we are using technology in our classrooms and determine if we are just teaching the same old, same old with new tools or expanding our horizons beyond what was possible before technology. It's interesting and does help to focus on the problem of how technology is used, but there are two issues at play here. By using a model like this, we are still placing our focus on the tool. And by looking at our own integration of technology as a problem to solve, are we not surrounding ourselves with problems? Instead of focusing on tools to solve problems, what if we just focus on what happens in a learning classroom? When I look around for what works, the stories I see and hear all have the same themes. There is a caring teacher-student relationship. There is a high importance placed on pedagogy. And the use of technology is allowed to happen naturally, more by need than by design. The first two of these themes are really interconnected. As teachers, one way that we care about our students is by keeping the bar high on the learning in our classrooms. When I care about my students, I want the very best for them, and the only way that is really in my control in this area is by ensuring that I continually evolve in my knowledge of my subject area, as well as on strategies for effectively teaching and learning it. More and more, these strategies turn towards accessibility through technology. When technology use is allowed to happen naturally, it arises out of a need more than by design. This one can be trickier to manage in centers where there is a dearth of technology or where it needs to be reserved ahead of time, unless we allow students to bring technology into the room and we arrange to share the technology a center does have with those students who don't have their own. This may well mean that we need to explicitly foster a climate of collaboration and sharing within our classrooms as well as our centers. This may also mean that it becomes okay for a student to walk into another classroom to borrow a tablet or laptop during the school day. But what if your students in center don't have access to technology? That's a big reality for a number of us. Remember, ICT is not the goal. Luckily, the first two of my themes are more than just themes. I would call them conditions for learning. It's in the intersection of relationship and pedagogy that passion for learning is ignited. Technology can facilitate the communication of this passion with others. It can facilitate creative manifestations of this passion. But technology is not the setting of our story. That exists beyond the tools. So I challenge you to look for instances of what works. Actively seek out our assets as teachers and learners and amplify them by sharing them with others, reusing great ideas from others in your classroom, and demanding the tools and conditions necessary to do so from those in a position to give them to you. Thank <laughs> you.